Welcome to 90 Days of Devotion. I'm Pastor Henry D. Phillips, and today is day 17, and the scripture that we've selected is Isaiah 43 and 2. I'm going to read it into your hearing from the New Living Translation. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume. You know, in today's world, hardships are inevitable. Yet, today's verse offers a soothing promise. God is with us. Not just as a bystander, but as a protector who ensures that life's floods and fires will not overpower us. This isn't a mere comfort. It's transformation. I mean, it turns every challenge into a canvas where God's grace paints strokes of resilience, hope, and growth. As you go through today, keep this in mind. You're not facing anything alone. Your trials are God's territory for miracles. And his steadfast promise is your ultimate source of strength and peace. What is that promise? That he will never leave you or forsake you. That's another verse. But uh, what it's saying is that his presence is there. So ask yourself, what specific step can I take today to live in the assurance of God's unending presence during my trials? Is there a moment or a ritual that I can establish to turn my focus towards him? Now, you know, the word ritual has gotten a bad rap, but in this instance, what it's saying is, is there something that I can do to turn my attention towards God in my time of trial because he's already promised that his presence will be there. It's a trick of the enemy to make me think that God does not care. It's a trick of the enemy to make me think that God has forgotten about me. But this scripture right here says that God is there in my trial. Whether it's a flood or a fire, God is there to say that you will not be overwhelmed. With that in mind, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we hold on to the assurance that you are with us in every season of life. Whether we're passing through waters of uncertainty or walking through the fires of trials, we are comforted knowing that you are there in every circumstance. Lord, grant us the faith to fully embrace your constant presence and the courage to face whatever comes our way. Help us to recognize your guiding hand today. And may the peace that comes from knowing that you're with us be our strength and joy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to encourage you to go and read chapter 43 of the book of Isaiah and to hold on to that second verse because that second verse says uh, that, you know, waters won't drown you. It says that fire won't burn you up. It says that whatever trial that you're going through, God is there with you. If you found some comfort in this devotion for today. I think that you know someone that will find comfort in it also. And I'm asking you to go ahead and share it with them. Uh, if they're on YouTube, encourage them to subscribe to the Open Door House of Prayer. Matter of fact, if you subscribe and hit the notification uh, button, you don't have to wait for me to uh, email you the link. You don't have to wait for me to text you. It will all, as soon as it becomes available, as soon as it publishes, it will be there for you. 
Once again, I want to thank you for joining us on this journey of 90 days of devotion. We're 17 days into it. I've been Pastor Henry Phillips of the Open Door House of Prayer. God bless and have a good day.